This script is about how PayPal was created. Hi there, you are watching Rand's Media, and today we'll be discussing the amazing story of PayPal and how it emerged as one of the leaders of online payment systems. Watch the entire video to learn how you can also build a successful business if you have a brilliant idea. If you want to watch more content like this, make sure you subscribe to Rand's Media and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Since the demand for cashless payments has been rapidly increasing during the past years, we've decided to uncover the leader of this industry, PayPal. Let me tell you that the reports from Statista claim that PayPal has 286 million active users, and this service operates in over 200 countries across the globe. So how'd it turn into a popular payment system? Let's take a closer look at the story behind it. History. Back in December 1998, Max Livchin, Luke Nozak, and Peter Thiel established a company called Confinity. This was a money transfer company that would ultimately become PayPal. Confinity operated as a payment processor for online vendors and auction websites. Max Livchin was born in Ukraine, and he was a computer scientist from Chicago. He already had three startups before his graduation, and he sold one of his startups, Net Meridian, to Microsoft for $100,000. Max came to Silicon Valley, where he attended a lecture at Stanford University by Peter Thiel. Peter, an American author, businessman, and philanthropist, was a genius. When Levchin met him, he proposed a company to this genius to create a library to encrypt schemes that they could license. Thiel was impressed by the idea, and he promised that his hedge fund would invest in this company. The fledgling enterprise was named Fieldlink. However, it wasn't successful. At that time, Thiel suggested that they could store money for people. The two businessmen named this new venture Confinity and later named this product PayPal. And while PayPal was growing, Luke Nozak gave the idea of a financial inducement to increase the virality of this service. The company offered to provide a $10 deposit on each new sign-up and a bounty of $10 for each new user they referred to. In 1999, PayPal launched its first version of the electronic payment system eBay sellers were struggling at that time, and they needed a better way to complete the transaction online. Moreover, the referral conception of PayPal made these sellers embed PayPal ads for payment service. They linked this ad to the PayPal homepage, which eventually tailed the growth of the online payment service. However, this was not the only company chasing this online gold. PayMe, X.com, and DotBank were the competitors of PayPal. Elon Musk's X.com started offering a gift of $20 per new user. Both companies struggled to capture more and more users. However, negative cash flow reached an epic proposition for both of them. In March 2000, X.com and PayPal merged together. Thiel was appointed the chief financial officer, Musk became the chairman, and Bill Harris was leading this new company. A heated argument between Thiel and Harris led Thiel to quit the company. However, the new company continued to struggle until Musk was named the new CEO. At this time, Thiel also returned. However, Musk was also removed as CEO, who later went to launch Tesla Motors and SpaceX. Thiel became the interim CEO, and when the service was on its way to achieving 200 million users globally, Hoffman and Thiel agreed that it was time to sell it. The minimum price was set at $600 million. Google, as well as Yahoo, denied purchasing it, citing PayPal's reliance on eBay. So, it was time to prepare an IPO. When the announcement went public, eBay offered a deal worth $400 million. However, Hoffman stood past $1 billion, and eventually, eBay acquired PayPal for $1.5 billion. Hoffman, Levchin, and Thiel collectively took in over $100 million. Then, in 2014, eBay announced that it would spin off PayPal into a separate, publicly traded company. This spin-off was completed in 2015. Levchin created a widget maker called Slide, and Hoffman co-founded LinkedIn. On the other hand, Thiel founded the hedge fund Clarium Capital Management LLC and invested $750,000 in Facebook. The Business Model In today's digital world, PayPal is indeed working as a successful online payment system that supports online transfers. The idea is that this system works as an alternative to traditional paper methods, such as money orders and checks. This American company works as a payment processor for online vendors and several other commercial users. In return, it charges a commission fee for providing several benefits, including password memory and one-click transactions. The success of this service in users and volumes is the result of a three-phase strategy. Initially, the company focused on expanding the service among eBay users in the United States. Then they expanded PayPal to international sites of eBay. Lastly, they began to build the business of PayPal off eBay. 
The company has a multi-sided business model. Two of the interdependent customer segments need to be operated. The customer segment consists of individuals who can send money as well as receive cash, make payments and donations, and set up reoccurring payments. On the other hand, the merchant segment consists of businesses who can accept mobile, web, and in-store payments from their customers. Discussing the value propositions of this business, PayPal offers two primary value propositions, including convenience and security. The platform allows merchants and customers to carry out simple mobile and digital payment transactions and even provide a risk management system that can help users prevent illegal or high-risk transactions. The company has trust and security over its customers, which gives them a sense of comfort. Over the years, PayPal has successfully created an ecosystem of payments that consists of mobile gateways and platforms, enabling it to penetrate several markets. And for a company like PayPal, it is vital to keep on building new strategic partnerships to offer enhanced user experiences. And I would say that branding is an important building block of the overall strategy of this company. You can adopt this business model if you want to build your own business. It is worth mentioning that PayPal was ranked number 204 on the Fortune 500 of the largest U.S. corporations by revenue in 2019. Indeed, the story of PayPal is amazing, and it transformed financial services. I hope you liked this video about the incredible story of PayPal. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends to motivate them with another success story. Also, tell us in the comments what you learned from the success of this business. We will see you in the next video. Bye.